day everyone this is Richard again for another edition of learning with rich so for today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to create and use spaces in your project because as you all know many projects such as renovations proceeds in paces so each representing a distinct time of a uh, distinct time period in the life of the project that is according to the author this 2016 help Okay, so pacing will let us to be aware of time on what is happening on our project. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to use our pace. This one, you can find it on the manage tab, pacing panel, so you will see here paces. Okay, so what is the workflow of doing pacing? Okay, so number one. So you need to determine the paces of work that you want to track for the project and create a pace for each. So if I'm going to click the paces here, so you will see that on my project paces tab, so I have here two paces. So I have existing and I also have new construction pace. And then as you can see, this portion, this is the past and then this is the future. Again, you, all, uh, you also have an option here. Okay, if you want to add the pace. So for example, uh, depending on your office standards and the needs of the project, you might create paces named uh, pace 1, pace 2, pace 3. Okay, so you can change the name of this default paces. So as you create pace, okay, so this is the old pace, this is the past, and here is the new pace. So every time you add Okay, you see? So this is the latest space. So this is the oldest space. Okay? So that's how you add your pace. So another thing, aside from determining the paces of work that you want to track for the project, so the next thing that we need to do is you need to create one or more copies of a view for each space and name these views appropriately which is what we are going to do in this exercise. Okay, and then aside from that, you also need to specify what are the paste filters that you are going to use to control the display of elements for that view. And aside from that, you also have the graphic overrides here. Okay, for the different paces statuses. So let's say for example, uh, I'm going to create here three pace, okay? So I'm going to create three pace. I'm going to cancel this first, right? And then going back to my paces here. So I'm going to create the uh, three paces here. So I already have two pace. So I'm going to select here after, okay? Just like that. And then after that, I'm going to name this pace. Let's say, for example, this is my... Uh, existing pace and then let's say I'm going to change the name of this to main entry and then for the third pace I'm going to change this to interior renovation renovation okay and then I'm going to select here the pace filters as you can see we have the default paces here so when you say show complete, it will show you all the elements in new paces, existing pace, but it will not display elements under demolish and temporary. Okay, and then you can also check the other paces here. So by the way, when you say by category, okay, by category means the default settings of the visibility graphic overrides of your model. Okay, if you say here overridden, meaning the settings of your overridden, this is based on the settings of your graphic overrides. Alright, so when you say by category, that is the default uh, uh, visibility graphic overrides of the material or the elements. So when you say here overridden, this is the setting of your elements using the graphic overrides okay 
So what I'm going to do is after I create this three pace. Okay, so this is the old pace, and then this is the newest pace. All right, so I'm going to select here. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to select this model. Okay, so this is now the story. So we're going to do some renovation in this model. We're going to do some renovation in the exterior part, and then later on, on the interior part of our model. Okay, so this is the story. So once you get to the site, you see this building model, right? So meaning to say, the pace of this model, it should be under what? It should be under existing, right? Because when you went to the site, you see this model, okay, you see this model, so meaning this building is already existing. Right, so that's why I'm going to select all the elements and then I'm going to make sure that the pace created here is existing. Okay, so that's it. So you will notice the color also change because if I'm going back to the pieces here, if I go to the graphic overrides, you will see that this, that is the setting of my existing. You see it's gray here. Okay, so that's the color. So I'm going to select here. Okay. Alright. Now that we have set up this model as an existing model, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going back to the faces. Again, I'm going to make sure that I created here three faces. Okay, because I'm going to do some modification on the exterior part and then the interior part. Okay, so uh, aside from that, I'm going to set up also my graphic override. So I click the graphic override tab, and then for the demolish, I'm going to change this to color red. Okay, so I'm going to change that to red. This should be red, so that any elements that I demolish, it will become red with the pattern of demolish lines. Same with the cut here. So I select this. And then I change the color to red. Then OK. OK. There you go. And after that, I select OK. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate multiple level 1 here. So I'm going to work on my level 1 to show different faces uh, of my level 1. So I'm going to rename this first. Rename. And let let me call this level one existing. Okay, so level one existing, and then I select okay. Uh, no need to rename the cross, uh, corresponding level and views. So I'm gonna open up the level one. So this is the existing view. Okay, so this is the level one existing, and then I'm gonna make sure that here on the paste filter base filter, I'm going to select here, show complete. And then from here, I select existing. There you go. So what is the setup of my show complete? So if I go back again to paste, paces, paste filters, you will see that my show complete here, it will show me all the new and existing elements but it will not display any elements from demolish and temporary faces. Okay? So I'll just select here, okay. Now, so after I set up my level 1 existing, I'm going to duplicate this. I'll just duplicate and then I'll name this. Right click, rename. Okay, so I'll name this exterior demolition all right so exterior demolition and then i'm going to duplicate again level one existing so this is the workflow okay so uh, level one existing and then you just need to change the name again okay so we are trying to create 
uh, copies of view for each page and then we're going to name these views uh, appropriately okay so this is my level one existing duplicate so i'll just rename this so let's say this will becomes my main entry all right so main entry again i'm going to duplicate level one the uh, duplicate rename okay so this time this is my interior demolition okay interior demolition i select okay and then i duplicate again rename and this is my interior renovation so basically, these are the views that I'm going to set up. I'm going to set up my my exterior demolition view, the interior demolition view, the level one existing, which is already set up. This one is already set up. So when you went to the to the site, this is the existing model, right? And then I'm going to set up also the main entry. Okay. So after I set up the level 1 existing, after we duplicate the views, so this time, I'm going to show now the paces. Okay, I'm going to use the paces to show demolition and reconstruction. But first, okay, so I'm going to open first my exterior demolition. Okay, you know. Open the exterior demolition. And then from here, the paste filter, I'm going to select here, uh, show demolition pra, uh, plus new. And then for the paste, so I'm already done with the existing paste. So what I'm going to do next is, I'm going to change this to the next paste, which is main entry. Okay, that is my next space, the main entry space. And then from here, I just select. <laughs> okay, I forgot to turn off my, my Facebook. Okay, so this is my main entry. Okay, and then after that, I select here, uh, show complete. Okay, so show complete. And then this is my uh, main entry. Alright. So after that, I'm now going to start to demolish my element. So this is my exterior demolition view. So to demolish an element from the modify tab, I'm going to select the hammer. Okay, so this is the demolish tool. So I select the demolish tool. So let's say on my exterior demolition view. So I'm going to demolish this. Okay, and then I'm going to demolish this. I'm going to demolish this and then the wall. Now, for me to be able to show those demolished elements in this view, since this is exterior demolition, so I'm going to change my uh, paste filter. So I'm going to select here, show previews plus demo okay and then apply so there you go so these are now my demolished elements okay so what is the setting of my paste filter view okay so if i go back to the manage and then check the paces here and then from the paces uh, paste filters so you will see that show previous demo will display the existing view which is set to override then meaning the setting of the graphic overrides here and then also the demolish element it will not show the temporary it will not show the new elements so only the existing and then demolish elements okay so that's the reason why it looks like this and of course our pace here is main entry because we are already finished on our uh, existing pace right that's why we move to the second phase or to the next phase which is on the next phase we're going to do some demolition which is what i just did okay 
So I demolished the door here, windows, and then the walls. The wall here. Okay, so the paste filter is show previous plus demo, and then the paste here is main entry. So after setting my exterior demolition view, I'm now going to the main entry view. Okay, so main entry view, I select this, I open, and then in this view, I'm going to uh, change the pace here because again, we are already finished with the existing, so I'm now working on the main entry. Apply, okay, so it looks like this. So this is now the main entry. So again, I'm going to make sure the paste filter here is uh, show complete this time. Why? Because this is already the renovation part, the main entry, wherein I'm going to put some renovation. So I want to show the complete view. The setting of my complete filter is it will show the new elements, it will show existing, but it will not show demolish and temporary. Okay, so in this view, on my main entry renovation, so I'm now going to add here elements. Let's say for the door, I'm going to place the, the new door here. And then I'm going to place window here. One, two, and then apply. Alright, so this is now my view on the main entry renovation view okay you see the paste filter here is show complete which shows only the existing and then the new construction and then of course the paste here is still main entry we are still on the main entry part main entry paste same with the exterior demolition okay so if i select exterior demolition so you see we're still on the main entry paste right so this is our first view. When we went to the project, we see this model. So this is the existing. And then after that, the next uh, part of the story is we did some demolition. That's why I opened this. So we are now showing the demolition elements. Then after we did some demolition, we did renovation. Exterior renovation for the main entry, which is now this one. Right. Okay. Now, for the next part is, we are going to do some demolition on our interior view. Okay. So, I'm going to open the interior demolition this time. So, what do you think is the pace for this interior demolition? Okay. So, of course, the pace now here is interior renovation pace or the last pace. Okay. So, we are done with the existing the main entry, we're now going to move on the latest phase. Or, for example, this is your phase 1, phase 2, and I'm going to move now to the phase 3. These are just names. You can just change this. Okay, it doesn't necessarily mean follow that when you see existing there, when you see new construction there, you cannot change the name. They're just a name. You can change that. Okay, you can make it phase 1, phase 2, phase 3. Okay, so it's up to you. Now, I'm on, on the interior part of the model, so I'm going to select now here interior renovation phase or the last phase, okay, the latest phase, right? Now, for the interior demolition, so for the phase filter, I'm going to change this to just like my uh, exterior demolition, I'm going to show the previous space or the previous elements and then the demolition so I select this okay so what I'm going to do is since this is interior demolition so I'm going to demolish some elements here so I select again the demolish okay so this time I'm going to demolish this wall this wall this wall and then this wall All right so this is now my interior demolition. So again, the paste filter here is show previews plus demo. And then the latest space is interior renovation. Okay, so that's it. 
So after I set up my interior demolition, I am now going to open the interior renovation. Okay, the paste filter here is show complete. Why? Because I want to show again the existing elements and then the new elements. Okay, so that's why I select here show complete. And then the paste, again, we are finished with the existing paste. That's why I'm going to change that to the latest paste, interior renovation. Okay, so this is now my interior renovation view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some new elements. Okay, so I just draw here. I'll check the chain. For example, I want to place the wall here. Okay, I want to create a wall here. Wall here. So a wall, mirror to the other side. And then I'm going to put a door here, single door. For example, this is now the renovation, the interior renovation. There you go. Okay. So this is now the complete addition and, addition and alteration job in this building model for our first level. So the story is, when we went to the project site, we saw this layout. And then after that, we did some exterior demolition. Okay, so this is the de demolish elements. After we did some demolition, so we just did some exterior renovation for our main entry. So this is now the renovation. So after the exterior part, so we move on to our interior part. We did some interior demolition, which is this one. And then after that, this is the renovation. There you go. Okay. All right. So actually from here, you can play the view. Let's say, oh, sorry again. I, Facebook is very active right now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> So I'm going to show you here the existing view. So this is the existing view, right? You can also do this in one view, even if you do not create multiple views. But uh, much better if you create multiple views, okay? Just like what I did in this exercise. So right now, I'm just playing with the with a different uh, pace here, right? So you can click here, see? So this is my existing before. So this is my main entry, okay, and then this is my interior pace, okay? For example, this is your pace one, pace one, because you can change this one. It's just a name. You can change this, all right? Then you move to the pace two, and then the last pace, pace three. There you go. Right? You can also do that in 3D view if you go to the 3D here. Alright, so what I'm going to do here, I want to show the complete element. So I select here, show complete. So again, it will show you the existing element and then the new construction. It will not show you um, demolish elements or temporary elements. And then, yes, the latest space, phase 3 or the interior renovation. See? So I can also play here. Change the paces. So this is the pace one. Right? Then the customer said, Oh, I want to do some uh, exterior renovation. Okay, so this is now the exterior renovation. And then after that, you did the last renovation for the interior. There you go. Okay. So that's how you use your pace. So if you want to modify... The colors, you can also change the color of your your faces. Okay, you can just uh, change the color from here, just like what we did on our demolish elements. Okay, so that's the importance of our faces. Okay, it will makes you aware of time for your project. Okay, so it's very important, especially if your project is 
you know, ANA project like addition and alteration or resubmission. Right? Okay. There you go. So this is now my level 1 existing. And then after that, exterior demolition. So we're doing some renovation project or ANA project. And then this is my main entry, interior demo, interior renovation, WT, ZA. Okay, so these are the different phases of this project. There you go. So hopefully in this exercise, at least you learned something from this video. Okay, so hope I can see you next time for another edition of Learning with Rich. And until then, bye-bye.